Well, here we are. We're live. Um, to people who are watching, thank you so much. This, is, this event is a, is a talk of artists in conversation. This is a part of the Trojan Women Project Festival at La Mama. The Project Festival is the celebration of over five years, pretty much six years, of a project that has been working in Guatemala, Cambodia, and Kosovo, taking La Mama's The Trojan Women. Medium, come in. And we have a lot of our artists with us. Have a seat right here. Um, this, is, this, this event uh, with Culture Hub is allowing us to have a conversation um, with, with people both in the room here in New York City and in other countries um, about the way we work as artists and any questions that we have for each other Part of the reason for this festival is a chance for people to come together and to, and to uh, have conversations like this. What I would love to do to start is um, I'm going to pass the mic around in New York and each person is going to say who they are and where they're from. And then we're going to go to both Kosovo and Cambodia and then we'll start the conversation. We have we have problem with the sound in New York. We are not hearing you at all. This way? No sound at all. I don't know if you hear us. Guys, we have problem with the sound in New York. We, we are not hearing zero. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. Kosovo, can you hear us? Now we hear you, but until yeah, yeah. now it was completely blocked. Okay. We're, now can you hear? Is that good? Yes. Ah, fantastic. Yes. But all of us, also in Cambodia, they could not hear you. Yes. We both could hear each other, but not you. Ah, okay, okay. Well, now we, hopefully we can hear each other. Uh, yeah. See? Yeah, we're here now. Good. Okay, wonderful. Here we go. I'm Kim. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ischel. I am from Guatemala. Hello, my name is Lisbeth. Uh, I'm from Guatemala. Not yet. <laughs> no. No. Hola. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, my name is Lisbeth. I'm from Guatemala. Hi, Lisbeth. <laughs> Hello, my name is Javier, I am, and I am also from Guatemala. Hi. Soshin, I'm from Guatemala. Hello. Hello, my name is Stefan. I am from Kosovo. My name is Katya. I'm from Cambodia. Yeah, Cambodia. Hello, my name is Rose Kuntia. I'm from, uh, from Cambodia. Yeah. My name is Soi Chan Borei. I come from Cambodia. My name is Nan. I'm from Cambodia. My name is Kender Kaplani. I'm from Kosovo. I'm a musician. I'm a presenter. I'm Skender Kaplani. I'm a musician. And I, and I represent uh, Kosovo Group. <laughs> and says that he understood. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Edis. I'm from Kosovo. 
Hello, my name is Victor and I am from Guatemala too. Hello, my name is Berta Chirish, I'm from Guatemala. Hola, mi nombre es Miriam Chacach Chocop, soy de Guatemala. We understood you. <laughs> Hello, Yetan. Hello, Kosova. I'm Elira, <laughs> and I come from Kosova. Hi. <coughs> Hello, I'm Yolanda. I come from Athens, Greece. Hello, you guys. This is Sara. It's great to see you. I'm from Italy, New York. Yeah. Hi, guys. It's Annie. I'm from New York, and how wonderful to see Yetan and Savon and Tuli and Sokni. Hi. Hi. So, so now it's your turn. <laughs> uh, Yetan, do you want to start? To introduce yourself. Yes, I'm, I'm Yetan. I'm from uh, Pristina, Kosovo. Is that enough, or shall I? You can you, you will continue. You could say a little bit more. Yes, yeah, sure. No, I'm here sitting at the Chandra Multimedia, uh, a small production company that I work. So I'm a playwright myself. Yes, yes. Thank you. Hello. Yes, so Savon, Savon. <laughs> Your name and what you do. My name is uh, Savon. I uh, I from Kukuchna province, but I work in Ekampur. Hello, Kim. Hello, Dali. Yeah. yeah, I am Dali. I from Cambodia. Yes, I working in the big art. Hello, Angie so I am uh, Sokni, came from Cambodia the same, and uh, at the moment we at Epic Art Center in a small meeting room. I'm so pleased to have some time with you all across the world. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you so much, especially you because it's 12 hours. You, it's very late at night for you. It's, it's night time for you. <laughs> So it's very. That's okay. We have a lot of coffee. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so really, this is this is meant to be a conversation, a chance for, especially because Savon and Tully were supposed to come, and um, we were not able to get successfully to get the visa. And first of all, I want to say we, you are with us in spirit, and we wish you were here. Um, and I also think, just want to say that we thank you so much for your efforts to, to try to come. Um, so this is a, a chance for us to talk to each other, uh, since we're not in the room together, and also to talk about how we work both in our, in our near near our homes, and also when we either travel or are able to reach each other in other ways. So I'm just interested in opening it up to what questions you have for each other um, or anything you want to share. Well, okay, how about this? Let's start with this. Uh, um, not everyone, especially people watching, will know... Um, ah, actually, we have a few more people coming in. Um, please tell me who you are and where you're from. Daniela Marca from Kosovo. Uh, Nora from Mexico. Okay. <laughs> um, when the Trojan Women Project travels to other places, one of the things we we do is we look to meet playwrights and playwrights and um, other uh, artists and community workers 
to uh, see w what is what they're doing, but also what are ways we may work be able to work together. Um, and also, to, uh, there's a hospitality, I think of it as hospitality of coming to, whether it's it, coming into someone's theater or um, having someone show us uh, what they feel is important to see uh, where, in, where they live. Um, so let's start, because it's so incredible to see all of you on the screen there. If you could tell us a little bit about both of your organizations to start, especially for the people who, who don't know. Um, so, so do you want to start with uh, Yetan? Do you want to start? Sure, sure, no problem. I mean, this, uh, I'll be brief, just so I don't take you, I mean, this time so we can have other, other questions to discuss. I mean, the company, this uh, Chandra Multimedia was uh, created, founded in uh, 2002, back then, just after the war, with huge ambitions. I mean, we wanted to do films, television, everything. But of course, we ended up doing uh, theater and liter literature. So what we do is uh, we produce and we co-produce theater plays, mostly two a year. Uh, one of them is our own production. The second is some sort of co-production that we do with uh, either regional or uh, international theater companies. We also run an international literature festival every year in, here in Pristina, where we invite uh, international authors, some 30 every year, and next year will be the 10th edition, so the festival happens every year in, in, in May. We have, uh, I mean, with our productions, we tour first within Kosovo, then we do a regional tour, so we go to Belgrade, uh, Skopje, Tirana, and then if the play is good enough or if the play is uh, interesting for the international audiences, then we start to get uh, invitations to present the work internationally. And uh, this is, you know, has been going well and the, in the last couple of years we had more than 200 international presentations in different uh, in different places of Europe and this year we also made it to to New York at La Mama as some of you know it from uh, from last year we also started to organize a Kosovo theater showcase in which we bring seven eight Kosovo theater shows in a weekend and we show them in front of the local audience but also in front of the international theater programmers, uh, theater critics and all other international theater guests that are willing to know and to uh, see what kind of theater is being produced in, in Kosovo. The type of work that we are mostly interested in, in producing could be uh, called as political theater. So we are mostly uh, putting on stage sh uh, shows that deal with uh, social or political uh, issues that do have some actual uh, resonance, so to say, with the actual uh, events but that are not necessary you know daily politics so to say so let's say our last work uh in five seasons an enemy of the nation is some sort of uh play that was inspired by the enemy of the nation by enemy of the people sorry by the, by ibsen which is in our version a play about uh a Kosovo architect that, that was murdered after the war by the construction mafia because he wanted to, you know, prevent them by building and by destroying the city. Thank you, Yetan. Sure. In brief. <laughs> 
So Sokni, Savon, Tali, tell us about Epic Arts. Can you, can you tell us about Epic Arts? Yes, Tali, you want to do it? I can add some more. <laughs> you want to do it? Let me see. And you can use translation however you want to do it, a mix of English and Khmer, however you want. Yeah. So that is going to be present in um, English or Khmer? In Khmer. So I will translate to English. Okay. okay. But, um, on the other side, on the other side, on the other side, so Epic Art is an international art organization that we working with people with and without disability together. But uh, and Epic Work is to promote the right of people with disability, make sure people with and without disability have the same equal right. Epic Art is a good thing so we work with different type of um, artists who have different type of disability like physical disability, um, hearing impairment and also uh, wheelchair user as well. ហើយនឹងបង្កើតជាសម្ដែងលោកខោនដើម្បីអឺផ្នែកអប់រំខ្លះខ្លះដើម្បីទៅអឺបង្ហាញនៅតាមអឺស្ទេសស្ទេសក
Yeah, they did really well. That's a good test. <laughs> <laughs> Other project that we do as well um, is the social enterprise. That's how we fund our work, continue funding our work. So we have Epic Arts Cafe that provides job opportunity for um, people with this with and without disability in town. And also we have Encounter Team. That's why uh, La Mama Project Been in World Without Encounter Team. We have two different team, uh, uh, theater team and also the dance team as well. And also we have the Create and Solve. That's three different small projects part of our social enterprise that's how we uh, bring the money in to support the program. So the program, the one spend the money, the social enterprise, the one trying to find the money to fund the project. Um, because we um, we really want to continue what we're doing. So to be able to continue what we're doing in the long term, we have to have our own funding to support what we're doing. That's all, sorry, take a bit longer. <laughs> Are there, are there people who would like to, do you want to talk about your company? Do you want to say? Um. Hello, hello. Hello. Hola. Yes, we hear you. Bueno, nuestro grupo se llama Ish Sakil Ik en Cachiquel, pero significa Mujer Claridad de Luna. So they they have a company called Ishakil uh, Ik. That's the name in in Kakchikel language, which is a Mayan language, and that means woman moon moonlight moon clarity light of the moon. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Eh, somos eh, todas mujeres en eh, la women. nuestra directora también es mujer Our director is also a woman. Eh, a woman. Eh, nuestra intención bueno de fundación bueno iniciamos en el 2012 we started in 2012 y eh, lo que queremos es a través del teatro eh, bueno, a través del teatro trabajar o enfocarnos, transmitir el mensaje eh, de cómo poder luchar por los derechos de las mujeres. So what we do is to uh, transmit to people uh, to fight and to defend women's right through theater. Y también que el teatro sea una herramienta de sanación. And also that theater becomes a, a, a healing tool. Eh, para eh, nuestra sociedad. For our society. Eh, no solo para las mujeres, sino para todos, ¿verdad? Por, not, also, not, not only for women, but for everyone. Por toda la problemática que tenemos actualmente en, en Guatemala. Because all, all of the social issues that we have in Guatemala. ¿Qué Hi, my name is Sochil and I am director of a group in Guatemala. The name of the group is Alquimia Escena and we are improvisers too and we work with Javier and another people in Guatemala and I'm doing workshops for uh, in communities for uh, young people, teenagers and the impro... Uh, no sé cómo decir esto, pero la improvisación lo que ayuda es a desarrollar habilidades blandas del ser humano, como la creatividad, la cooperación con el otro, la escucha. The impro helps to, to improve uh, some skills like the listening, aceptation, creativity. Well, Aceptations, the ideas of the other people, and that skills help so much uh, for.
for the people, I no sé, gente que lo hace. The, the development of that skills helps too much to the people who, who, who do impro. Y lo pueden aplicar en su vida cotidiana, no solo es para las artes, o sea, no solo para crear arte, sino también para que lo apliquen en su cotidiano, en su diario vivir. And they can apply uh, the knowledge to, to, the, to their everyday life not only for the theater works. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, I can start. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Katja, and I'm together with uh, some of my teams here. Um, we are um, the, from Cambodia, and um, we from Amrita Collective. And our collective is a contemporary dance collective that we are um, working um, with the missions of uh, promoting creativities and, and using dance as a way to uh, propose a social change. And um, we just established it in 2019, very relatively new. And um, hopefully that collective will um, grow stronger and bigger in the in future. And we're looking forward to work together with our international uh, friends in, in the near future. Thank you. Um, so um, my, my name is Victor again. I'm also from Guatemala, but I work in another organization. So we are three different organizations here. Um, I work in an organization called Caja Ludica, in where we develop different uh, processes um, to, different to promote work? different processes. Yeah? You hear? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so um, towards social change, so we 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 work in different social issues issues, and um, we all the processes we work we 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 use different artistic expressions to work those processes. We work in all in all around the country in Guatemala, mostly in indigenous communities, but not not only indigenous with everyone, but mostly in indigenous communities. And um, it was founded in the year 2000. Right. I, I have already. Uh, okay, once again, I'm Eris from Kosovo, from Kosovo. Um, I'd rather just switch the, 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 the topic and the, the, and the content of the conversation into what we have learned and what we can learn from this uh, La Mama and Trojan women uh, experience. Um, I first of all greet Yeton as a playwright and me myself in here, uh, I am one of the rare Roma playwrights who writes um, uh, theater shows in, in Romani language, which is sort of uh, an old language which is spoken all around the world and in Kosovo as well. Um, and I'd like to use this opportunity to tell that how inspired I was after seeing this uh, play, first of all in Kosovo, in three places, how that inspired me as a playwright to put um, such... Okay. To, to put such things into stage and to actually tell about the struggle of many people and about many social issues that we face in such a way. So I do uh, hope that uh, Yeton as well was super inspired by uh, the Trojan Women uh, play and I do hope that not you as a playwright but the playwrights in, in Kosovo will uh, once come with such powerful uh, uh, show to show the struggle that what we have gone through as you know to do it well. <laughs> Um, and other than that, uh, I, as a playwright, I was definitely inspired uh, by the story because we know that the uh, Romani, or the worldwide known pejorative name Gypsies, have struggled a lot and they've gone through 
a partially such struggle, but there are many other parts that they have struggled a lot. So I, as a playwright, I was definitely inspired by the story, and I can definitely assure that the Trojan Women Festival will um, be my second part of the vision how I can put the Romani struggle into stage on my um, maybe third single act uh, plays, because on the other hand, this, like, my... Um, my participation in Trojan Women uh, Festival was sort of um, with a uh, not very important role as a soldier, but however, I was all the time observing, and that inspired me uh, as a single act uh, actor, although amateur, to put these things on a stage. So I do believe that my next uh, single act play will be sort of related to the stories that we heard here. And once again, thank you. And definitely, uh, I'm very proud that Kosovian group was uh, represented into this festival with the most diverse group because we have uh, Kosovians who speak Albanian, we have Kosovians who speak Serbian, and we have Kosovians who speak Roma who were represented as a group into this super broad and super big project. So thank you once again. Thank you very much. Thank you also for opening up the conversation that you can say, anyone can say anything. It's, it's whatever people want to share because how wonderful it is that we're actually all here together. Who wants the mic? I mean, if, if I might ask you, because I'm really eager to, to know if the Trojan Woman show is over. Was, I mean, did the premiere happen or is going to happen? And how was it? Who wants to answer that question? Hey, Yaton. Hey, everybody. Hey, Cambodia. Um, uh, the opening show uh, happened three days ago. Four, four. Bravo. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> uh, and, uh, of course, uh, we were terrified at the opening. <laughs> we wanted to, to do our best. And... Uh, but we had the vision what we were going to do. We rehearsed a lot. It was not an easy process. But it was a wonderful gift to share the stage with all these people from all around the world and to speak uh, the, the one, one language, which is the universal language of art, and to share some of our specific uh, cultural things during the whole show and the... Uh, and uh, the narrative of Trojan women. Um, it's also beautiful that we really could see uh, and could feel from all the, the, all the groups um, the true stories, the experiences that we went through and they are still alive and somehow it resonates during the whole performance. And I really want to thank uh, the original team and Andre Sherban and Maud, who, wow. yeah, her contribution was big and huge because uh, thanks God she was in Kosovo and met us and worked for us and helped us. So this was a great opportunity again and big heart of La Mama opening the stage for all of these incredible artists. So thank you so much. <laughs> and maybe uh, another question for the Trojan woman uh, cast. Maybe, I don't know, Edis or somebody else. I'm interested to know how much, because we've seen the, the show in Pristina. I mean, in, I saw it in prison, actually. But I wanted to know how much from that you know, a uh, show that was produced here and elsewhere was uh, used and taken and how was the process of kind of melting it together now in, in, in New York? Um, first of all, it was a super great opportunity for the original players to see what they can bring together and I'm, uh, I was sure after seeing Andre Sherban in his eyes bringing all these cultures from all around because the original stage manager didn't have the chance to travel where the uh, original um, team traveled and they made this, the, the play. But then after they brought all us into one 
And he was sort of trying to get every cultural uh, bit that we are bringing. And uh, we had super Guatemalan and Cambodian uh, cultural uh, ritual issues, which were incorporated into original play, which never happened. And then we have this Albanian uh, morning uh, ritual, which is sort of extinct in our culture anymore. But the uh, Ilirian Edlir brought it very well. So it was sort of... Uh, a uh, fusion of cultural issues, which were for the first time brought into the show, which is playing for l nearly 50 years now. So it was uh, a one and very unique opportunity for New Yorkers to meet with other cultures, with the culture that they have originally produced. So they have originally produced the Trojan women, but they have never had the chance to see the other cultures, how they fuse into this super productive uh, job. So it was, yeah, I think a great opportunity that we brought and it was qualitative as well. Mm. well and the last question, Eddie, maybe for you or somebody else. Uh, of course, I suppose it was hard process, but was there any cultural complication that you couldn't handle because I don't know the Cambodian group didn't want to do something or the Kosovo group was not happy with something I mean in terms of culture yeah. Uh, no, because uh, the the group, in the entire group, and the entire—I mean, every individual—had the chance to show what he brings as an individual and as a country and slash as a culture. So I remember when we were on the on the circle, like uh, the original team and also Andre asked, like, "Do you have?" any specific thing for sort of a ritual or do you have any specific yeah. song that you bring? But it wasn't sort of, um, I don't know, everybody had the, had the chance to speak out and to see what he brings. But we definitely were, first of all, mesmerized with the cultures that we bring and that we are super diverse. And other than that, we had sort of this uh, opportunity to discuss as a group what we want to sort of give to this original play. Uh, hi, Ethan. I, I, I will say that, um, that uh, wh while there are many cultural elements that have been added to this show and they're glorious and it look and some of the moments are are amazing and could we could go on and on and add and I add it hasn't been problem free um, in in an effort to bring this uh, this piece that was done 45 years ago to a contemporary audience in New York which is very different than bringing it to other places that we've been with the project. Um, Andre made is, is really searching for a way to keep it immediate. And that includes um, a lot, uh, uh, ma many instances of uh, portrayals of violence, particularly violence against women. And I think that's where we've had the most difficulties or, or differences b with cultures because um, the, the way that violence against women is portrayed on stage in in for example in in we can be in Guatemala and the fact that a woman is just touched roughly in front of a public audience has tremendous meaning and um, the, the fact that a woman removes her clothes is just it, it, it's unthinkable and would probably not be, be a, a valid theatrical concept but here in New York here it wouldn't, it wouldn't have validity in other countries. You can't hear me? This is the best part. How could you not be here? Yes. <laughs> but it was nice. It was nice. So, so okay. Only the last part, we didn't hear you. So I, what I said was that, um, that uh, we were talking, uh, nudity has been a big issue here. And it has, um, for... It, for for many of the actors who have come to New York, it, it's been a, it's been a struggle and a breakthrough. I I believe that it's a struggle for many people in the audience in New York to see some of the scenes that we have. I don't think even that we have heard the last of how people view what, our show, but um, but it's interesting when those problems come up, isn't it? It's interesting when there are cultural diff differences like that, and we have to discuss them and. Uh, yeah. uh, was there a nudity in the end or no? Oh, yes. 
Does anyone want to? Yes. In the original production in 1974, there was actually a lot of nudity. But in 1974, it, 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 my memory is that nobody ever wore clothes. We just ran around without our clothes. So, but now it has a, a particularly, particularly because of um, what is going on between men and women in this country, which is not un unlike in other countries. Um, it has a different meaning. Are you? Am I still, am I still here? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. Okay. Yes. So, um, so w we actually have not returned to the to the 1974 version. We tried. Um, we tried one scene, the Cassandra scene. I don't know if you remember. In 19 Did you say a uh, version or perversion? Uh, <laughs> I said version, actually, but I don't know what you heard. But, um, <laughs> but yeah. oh, sorry, version. Um, but there, there, it turned out that actually there was some some nudity that was in the 1974 version that was gratuitous and has been taken out. And um, mm -hmm. so it's interesting how how we have reexamined what what you can show on stage and. And what and how it will move an audience rather than have the audience reject it. And I want to say something just for you to know uh, that that we have every night we have we have a different cast. Because we have like di different people doing the same character, and um, the director didn't say, "Okay, you are the one who's gonna play the character," but every night we uh, he changes the cast, so every night we have different people doing the characters. <laughs> but is 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 everybody playing every night, and then it's just. The change between the same cast. Okay. Yes. Yes, we are we are all doing all the, the show every night. Just the, the main characters are different every night. There are fifty of us on stage. Five zero. There's a many of us. That's huge. Uh, Savon and Tully, uh, <laughs> since since you know, would you like to share anything about when you performed in the Trojan Women's? Uh, we wish you were here right now, but you we did perform you did perform in 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 Cambodia. Um, is there anything you'd like to share about that? <laughs> អឺជាបុគ្គលចាអឺស្មាញ្ញុំមុននឹងមុននឹងខ្ញុំចែករំលែកបោះពិសោធន៍ខ្ញុំចង់សួរទៅខាងអ្នករបស់ <coughs> So, so Dali want to ask question first before he share the experience. Yeah, Dali want to ask uh, if the the show changed a lot uh, from uh, the the one in Cambodia to the New York. Is it a lot of changing the activity? So today, Dali, but. បងសម្ដែងនៅណាគឺបានអើយើងផ្លាស់ប្ដូរឆើនផ្លាស់ប្ដូរឆើនហើយទី <laughs> 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 ហើយមួយទៀតទៅលបឿនចឹងមួយរៃអត្រាស់ណាយអូន
ลาลาคือตัวลาลาดูประจูคือปัญไตขอยืนทายยืนปลาปลาดูกัดไทยมาจะดูนแต่ซายืนมีนบอปทอขมายระบามือจังไกลคลายยืนถือดระบามขมายไกลคลายตัวยืนดัสเลงขมายมีนเพียซาขมายมีนเพียซาเพียซาเมาปิปฏิโกสบูนึงกัดตามเวลาจังให้เกมปลาปลาดูตีตังไอเฉินเฉินได้แต่วิ่งดูท่าเสียงเสียงอ่ะบอกยืนนั่งได้แต่ก่อไปปลาปลาดูเฉินนั่นคือคือสระนั่งมองตัวกีสระใบบุญเนี่ยได้บองบานมุ่ยเจนยมนั่งจังใจมเล็บบทสอบได้เลยเป็นได้กรมลามามานั่งมาปฏิกรรมเชี่ยมาสมได้เนื้อที่กรมทุ่มปิ้งนะเนื้อสมได้เนื้อปฏิกรรมเชี่ยคือมีปีดองสมได้เนื้อที่กรมทุ่มปิ้งเป็นนั่งสมได้เนื้อแข่งกระโปรงนั่นจึงคือบทสอบได้สมได้นั่นคือสมได้เนื้อที่กรมทุ่มปิ้งเป็นนั่งแข่งกระโปรงนั่นคือสมได้สกังคีเซนนี่ไอ้ที่มีนรกท่าเป็นแต่บางการแทนสมัยจีมวยหนึ่งกรมลามาแม่คือจีกำหนดทำไมมวยแต่ขยมมาได้จุกโดยแท้ยืงสมัยเตียงสกังอกเพียบหนึ่งสมัยเตียงเฉียงนะเตียงเฉียงพิษแสงพิษแสงกันอีกหนึ่งอันนี้คือจีแทนสมัยทำไมการสมัยทำไมเด็กยมมาทุกสมัยจิมวยจิมวยกวดยมทุกแต่สมัยยมรบบัมสัตสมัยเด็กตรงจิมวยนั่งภายในอบรมนตามสัตกุมไอ้นั่งสมัยรบบัมสัตสมัยนั่งเลยแช่ได้จังหวัดแห่งที่สมัครเพียบยืนจีเนี่ยพิการเพียบยืนจังหวัดแห่งที่สมัครเพียบบ่อยยืนปัตย์เป็นยมบันจูรวมสมัยจิมวยนั่งกรมลามาแม่พิจีบัตรสอบทำไมมวยได้พิบ่าวอุ้มเพลงนะไปจองสมัยนะแต่จีการสอบสมัยได้ยังหมดแบงค์โจวิซ่าเตยกบงได้กบงได้อิสไซน์จองโจรูมอะไรบ้านโจรูมมาได้โจรูมตามสเปกขอบคุณจ้าอพิงเดลี่ translate translate Um, Dali said um, the interesting experience while Lama Ma in Phnom in Cambodia. There are two different performances, one in Phnom Penh and one in Kampot, which is those two different performance is two different experience and movement as well, which is very very interesting way to doing think. And also um, Dali said uh, he had such amazing experience with the Lama Ma team. He learned so much more, um, different way of doing the uh, the art in different way, uh, especially uh, uh, create a new movement in the same time as singing the Greek song. We just said something new for Dali um, never had that experience before, and also um, because he only have experience with the contemporary dance and. Uh, Performing with educational theater and also the uh, promote the right of people with disability. This uh, experience with La Mama project is very um, highlight experience, and he cannot forget about this experience. And he very um, happy and sad at the same time because he cannot join in, the, in New York, but he happy now he join in the life at the moment. That's that's great. That he feels still part of the project. <laughs> Actually, it's a question, so it was not greeting. Okay. No, uh, a question for maybe I don't know Kim or uh, somebody from the original cast. I mean, I would be interested to also uh, hear if they could feel any difference in the way how the audience reacted. I mean, was there more or less enthusiasm now than before, or also in 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 personal terms? I mean, how was it then? How was it now? I mean, beside the fact that you are now a little bit older, but you you asking Kim, right, or or, or the team? And any, any or Kim or I mean Kim didn't speak so far so. I um 
it's very hard. It's very hard to judge. I, my memories of um, of doing this this show in in uh, in the early days were very were very much like um, it, the the experience that we had in Pristina when we did the show in Pristina, which was that the audience was so huge, and the and the proximity of the actors to the audience was so intense that this wave of emotion came out and now um, for, not, not because we're not selling tickets because it's sold out, but we have fewer people in the audience by half. So there's almost, a, by the end of the show, there's almost a distance between the audience and the actors that I have to get used to. I don't know what it indicates, but there, it's a little bit more reserved. I would say uh, so. I Just to, to, our, to our colleagues in in Cam, in uh, Cambodia, if if you are translating, if you can be a little bit uh, lower sure. voice because then the, the yeah. sound gets mixed for me. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, All right. So so my answer would be, and and I I learned the show in 1996 and ha have been with it. Uh, it, it, in different tours with different people and then now with, with so many wonderful people in, in different countries not performing it but teaching it and now not all the teachers and all the people who have been performing it everyone is together people from 1974 who joined in the 90s or 2002 or 3 or, and, then, and then the past 6 years um, is that what we all share is this material, are these same songs. So whether the stage changes a little bit, it always, for me, comes back to the material, to these scenarios, and then what is it to stand with someone and to sing this song. And we may have different stories in our head or different resonances that bubble up in our hearts, but I find it very powerful. It's been, to have everyone here together, I'm not sure, it, it depends on the day, what is happening in the world? How is it going to resonate when we tell the story today, depending on what today's news is or what your personal news is? Um, but what, one thing I, I do feel is that there are pieces like this and, and this project and this festival is around this piece that is a living legacy. It's an oral tradition. And there are many oral traditions or pieces like that to be a part of something like that um, is, is, is special. And also I feel like then each person, I, I want to thank each person because each person then helps continue it. How do we remember this song? How do we remember this ritual or, or this, this story together? Um, and I have to say for everyone who was, that, that, that is here for the festival, I feel like it, it has just made it, it just even makes it bigger. It just keeps growing what, what's possible with this show the more people come into it. That's my feeling about it. Uh, Savon and Tali, if, if, if you don't know, if you're watching this uh, video or even for some of the people here might not know that, that, that the, Savon and Tali were going to be here in New York. Um, and it's just the visa process is always difficult. Um, and in recent years, it, it can get even more difficult, and so um, and so you're not here with us, but but we but you but you are a part of what we're doing right now too. Um, but Savon, would you like? Did you want to say anything about your experience playing Poluxena or being in the show? Okay, if you want, if you want. <laughs> nhưng ở uh, miền trong miền đông và tây còn hai năm nghe sầm nô mới trong xưa là khi à, ở cùng rôn ở trâu chân du mẫn đó để như thế cùng rôn trâu chân du mẫn cứ một cà lá nó cứ chia làm ra hai cà sầm lại nó cứ vô từ cái tha và điên ta và tê ngay khác cái này team someone has a question to the lama ma team she asked um, uh, the, the Lama the Trojan Woman project when it start to start to perform performance and how many countries the performer have been traveling so far you know. how, 
So you, how many countries? So uh, the first, so we went to uh, Guatemala, and then <laughs> Cambodia, and then Kosovo. So we, the, the, in, in those three countries, the whole play was performed like it was in Kampot and Phnom Penh. But we are looking to the future, and I'm not sure what the future holds for the project. I know it will be different, but actually we've been to a fourth country. We did some work uh, in, in Italy last summer with refugees in Umbria, and uh, there's somebody with us today from Greece who also who works with refugees in Greece, and we're hoping to do some kind of work there and in this country as well. So that will be, can we count America as a, another country? Hi, coming from uh, Greece, where the Trojan women, that's where they were first acted, of course, many, many thousands of years ago. So it's very nice to see a play that, you know, we've grown up with uh, since we were kids, played by so many different uh, cultures, languages, backgrounds, and adding always to it so much. Uh, it would be very nice to see that in Greece at some point. But I think the most important thing is how um, uh, you also can come to Greece, which means that how Greece can also receive, you know, all this history that you've created with a project, which I think is very important, and add something from Greece to it as well, of course. <laughs> Me? And another question for the costumes. Did you, I mean, did Gabriel use more or less the same style of the costumes of the original production or she created something completely new? I am going to answer to that. <laughs> well, it was for you, Mad. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, when when she first discussed with when she first discussed with Andre, uh, she was planning on using the costumes. Can you hear me? She was planning yes. on using the yes. costumes uh, of the people coming from their country, which was very obvious with our friend from Komalapa. And uh, Andre at the time was not too sure, but they sort of went into uh, but, uh, uh, today's costume, but using references from where they were coming from. So she worked very much with the actors, and they gave some information about what they were. And basically, like Katia coming from Cambodia, is, is dressed like a Cambodian uh, woman from the old days. And, uh, and you have reference from little exotic things from the Balkan on the costumes, little, little mark here and there. And um, the only thing where André was, had a problem was with uh, the soldiers, because Gabriel wanted to put them on something uh, which was not black, because she was saying the audience is going to be dark anyways, and they don't need to be black. And then Mud, André... Mud, Mud, can you bring the microphone closer? Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> so, then, uh, <laughs> so, yes, uh, she presented some costume of soldier and he, he said a definite no. And she was totally devastated, you know her. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, she, overnight, she changed her costume. She found a great sales uh, on the internet. And she changed her costume and now people look more like... Uh, ICE, you know, the police which is bringing back the refugees to, uh, they are all in black and uh, Andre wanted them scary and so they are scary. And uh, Maida, who you may not know, who is the original set designer, created some um, cask, mask, um, you know, and some very weird mask out of uh, Coca-Cola can. And uh, so there is this moment of orgy at the time of Achilles, you know? Uh, so basically that's it. But I think that the different people are sort of wearing something which reminds them of their own country. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'll, I'll just take a minute just to show you people that we have still work to do. So our company from Kosovo, <laughs> we have to go now to rehearse um, a piece that we will show soon. So I just wanted to say thank you. It was wonderful to be together in the room and virtually be all together from far away. <laughs> so bye, <laughs> have a nice day, thank you. My team, well, <laughs> let's go. So we have a, we can, do we have a few more minutes? Okay, so, so the, the, the Kosovar team <laughs> is going to rehearse, but we still have a few more minutes that we can, that we can talk. So really, I mean, there's, it could be anything, anything anyone wants to say. Sada, do you want to say anything? Or? Hi, I, there's something that for me is uh, most valuable about this project that I'd like to share. Uh, the show itself talks about atrocities and injustices that are done to people, but I feel like what this festival specifically brought to what the Trojan Women Project is, which is using a theater piece to go to different places in the world and begin to exchange about those themes that are in the play through singing songs together and having conversations. This specific festival really helped Sarah, us Sarah, to... we don't hear you, Sarah. You can't hear me? And I have the impression that it's that, that microphone that is okay. always making troubles, not the other one. Did you hear anything at all? Well, the first part, yes. So I feel that thanks to the vision of Kim uh, and Ani, Making this festival really allowed for the Trojan Women Project to go way further than what it began with. So the vision of this project really began to um, grow at such a level because of bringing all these people together in the same room. So even if we are talking about atrocities on stage, but really what this project has done, I, at least to me, and I hope for other people in this room, is to bring us to know one another as human beings through doing, singing songs together. So I've never been to Guatemala, but now I get to know people that come from there and begin to learn about their culture. I was lucky enough to go to Kosovo and to Cambodia and get, begin to know about those cultures. But now, here we are, and we can begin to let go of our prejudice and ideas about other people in the world because we actually get to meet one another. And so through this project, I think, you know, we have been talking how, about how we all do something that has to do with political theater or theater for social change. And I guess we all do it in a little bit different way from one another, right? But the, I think that the beauty of this project is that we are not trying to convince an audience about an idea we have. We are bringing themes that are universal and we are doing it through our own personal stories and through a language that is not understood by anybody. So we, we have the possibility to meet at a place where we, we're all equal and we can really begin to um, let go of barriers that are there, especially if we don't get to meet one another. So I feel that bringing this project in other countries and sharing this work with other people and finding more ways to bring these people that know this work together to meet one another is the best way to to let go of fear, to let go of ideas that are not helpful to really um, overcome some of the major issues of our day, which is, you know, there's, there's more racism than we've known. Uh, and, and this, this is the way to, to, to 
fight all of that. It's not about fighting, but it's about coming together and meeting one another. Then we really begin to change the world, I believe. So I thank you for being here with me. I thank you for having me in this project. I, it's an honor. And, uh, and I really think that because this is so powerful, we will be able to keep doing this and just wait and see what this will become. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Sada, that, that was beautiful. Thank you. Um, we have a few more minutes though. Did any, any, anyone else have something they want to say? No, I mean, for me, yes. for me, this, I mean, it's nearly, it became nearly impossible to have, I mean, this uh, big projects like this. You don't see this happening anymore. I mean, you know, you had it maybe some, some years ago in 90s or in 80s, but yeah. this is, you know, Nobody's doing this. I mean, they all are kind of close to their own structures, producing small theater work, and that's it. But I mean, this is uh, really special, and uh, I know how, how, how much work you had to do, but it's miracle, I would say. I mean, you use uh, a template, and then you fit all those cultures, and I mean, they give, they take something. That's wonderful. And uh, I feel so sorry I'm not there to see it. We wish you were here. We wish you were all here. <laughs> well, yes, on Friday there will be a, a culture hub, with Culture Hub and HowlRound a live uh, feed of the show, a live stream of the show. Um, uh, and, and, uh, and also I, I want to say a big thank you to um, everyone at Culture Hub and, and, and at HowlRound and Culture Hub has, is incredible and, and, and so important because in moments like this where you do not, you can't be in the same room, you can't get on a plane or you don't have the visa, more and more ways that we can both be in the same room and then also work together in, in ways like this um, so that we are the ones making, we are the ones who get to grab the hands and not wait for someone to tell us when we can, that we can really talk to each other. So we, all, we have to thank Zuckerberg as well. I'm sorry, I didn't hear, what did you say? Oh, no, we have to thank the one who invented the internet as well. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, okay, so, so I think it's time to end, un, end this right now. And so it is, has been suggested, yeah, oh, Miri, Ishel, Ishel. Ishel's going to say something, and then after that we'll have a closing action. Eh, hola, mi nombre es Ischel, eh, soy una mujer maya cachiquel. My name is Ischel and I am a Mayan woman cachiquel, Mayan cachiquel woman. Este proceso para mí ha sido muy diferente y muy emocionante a la vez por el hecho de compartir con otros músicos de nivel internacional. For me this this has been a, such a wonderful experience to to share music with some different musicians from different places. Eh, también es muy importante mencionar que gracias a la, bueno, a la compañía y a Kim, Oni y a todas las demás que están dentro de, eh, como que se logró romper varias fronteras para encontrarnos con nuestros hermanos de otras raíces. And thanks to Oni and Kim and all the people in the, the team that we could, we could broke eh, borders to meet people from different places and different countries, y brothers poder, and sisters. Y poder eh, compartir un poco de lo nuestro con todos los que están presentes acá y con ustedes también eh, es muy eh, de mucho valor para nosotras como mujeres mayas cachiqueles. And for us as Mayan cachiquel eh, women, it's a pleasure to share a little bit of our culture with 
all of you, and you in Cambodia, and you in Kosovo, and all the people here in New York. Y esperamos que la vida pues, nos siga abriendo y brindando más oportunidades como estas para poder reencontrarnos con nuestras raíces de otros lugares. And we hope life gives, you, gives us more uh, opportunities to keep sharing this uh, and to go deeper in our roots. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Al contrario. Okay, so we're going to close with uh, something that we learned in Cambodia. Do you want to explain? Good idea. So at the end of rehearsals in, with Amrita, <laughs> we count to three and we all hit the ground together. And, and three times, yeah. Yes, and so when you teach us first, do you want to teach? Yes, I will count in my number like uh, the Mui, P, Bai, and then we, yeah, clap. See? Mui, P, Bai. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.